Green Lamb has been a hallmark of exceptional artistry and unbridled passion for innovation. It is India's number one, Asia's largest and among the top three brands in the world offering a variety of surface solutions. Carrying forward this legacy of true craftsmanship, we introduce you to Mikasa Real Wood Floors. The first and only engineered wooden flooring brand in the country to be manufactured in India. Ethically sourced varied wood species from across the world, we keep the natural feel of the wood untouched. We offer warranties up to 30 years. Hence, our promise for you to grow up to wood. Mikasa floors are joined using plank lock revolutionary technology that locks two planks together seamlessly. This patented locking mechanism delivers an array of advantages, glue-free, thereby less messy, convenient and quick installation and uninstallation process. Mikasa floors can be installed on top of most existing floors. The installation of our floors is easy. Begin with proper planning. These floors are meant for dry indoor spaces and not for wet rooms such as bathrooms, laundry rooms and outdoors. Read the instruction manual carefully and use the installation checklist as a guideline. The next step is to check the moisture content of the installation site's environment using a moisture meter where the relative humidity should be between 45 to 60 percent. The moisture content of the subfloor should not be more than 4 percent. Then check the evenness of the floor with the level meter. The subfloor should be without any concrete lumps or debris. The acceptable differences within 8 feet is plus minus 3 mm and for 4 feet is plus minus 2 mm. For every 10 inch width of the subfloor, it is plus minus 1 mm. Usually, while planning installation, we begin installing the floors from left to right alongside the length of the room and in case of narrow corridors, lengthwise along the walls. If there is an existing wooden or laminate floor, install it in cross direction or use ply as underlay if needed in the same direction. It is essential to install a moisture barrier underlay when installing Mikasa floors on concrete, sand or cemented base. For other surfaces, you can refer to the table as to the material to be used for underlay. We recommend using only Mikasa Vaprotect for underlay as it is the perfect combination of PE film and underlay which not only acts as a moisture and sound barrier but a suitable intermediate layer. Wherever you notice a fixed equipment, leave necessary distance for better adjustment later. Now begins the next stage which is the preparation for the installation. The first thing is the assembly of correct tools. You will need safety goggles, heavy gloves, knee guard, dust mask, a hole saw, screws, drill machine, a tape, a pull bar, a tapping block, spacers, a saw, measuring tape, a utility knife, wood chisel, a hammer, nails, level meter, speed square, moisture meter, PVAC glue, Begin with cleaning the surface. You can vacuum the space and remove debris lying there. Then spread the Mikasa Vaprotect underlay edge to edge and tape them together. Now that the surface is checked for level, take room measurement and calculate the number of rows needed along with the perimeter gap required. If the last row is less than 70 mm, cut the first row of plank lengthwise. Remember that 10 mm is needed on all sides for the spacers. Open packets as and when required. Packs need to be acclimatized for at least 3 to 4 days at the installation site. Check panels for any defect in design, surface and plank lock joints. If you find any, do not use them. Cross-check the label on the packs to confirm delivery of the right materials. Now, once the preparation is over, begin the final installation process. Begin from the left alongside the area and keep the tongue side against the floor. 
Wood will expand or contract during its lifetime, hence provide for expansion gaps via spacers. Place spacers between the tongue and the wall. The first plank's end tongue strip to be cut off to leave enough space for perimeter gap. Fit the next plank at an angle against the first and continue with the same. When the plank at the other end of the wall does not fit, take measurement and mark it, then saw it off and get the perfect fit. With the other piece of the cut plank, you can begin the second row. The piece must be longer than 500 mm for 15 mm floors and 300 mm for 10 mm floors. If that is not the case, then begin with a new plank. Keep in mind that the minimum distance between joints must be as mentioned and not similar to the second. Use the tapping block with every plank to push it into a perfect fit. Now repeat the same for every row. Once the installation is complete, remove the spacers. Then screw, nail or glue the skirting boards in their respective positions. Install all the profiles in their relevant areas. Next, install the reducer mouldings to make a smooth transition between the floors of differing heights. For transition between two rooms with identical flooring and height, meet at a doorway. Install T mouldings. After the completion of installation, please ensure the following before you leave. Ensure the floor is cleaned properly before the handover. The customer is briefed about the floor cleaning and maintenance instructions. Run through the installation checklist with the customer and once he is satisfied, take a final sign-off from the customer on the provided document. If the room walls are non-right angle walls, determine the direction of the installation first. Mark a 90 degree angle on the underlay using a string in accordance with the direction of your installation. Now install along the supporting line and install beginning from the middle first and then proceeding to either direction. Now, if there are fixtures in the room such as pipes, measure and mark the space. Then, drill holes 20 mm wider than the pipes. Saw through the center of the drilled holes in the plank. Place the plank against the pipe and glue the other half with PVAC glue. For door frames, first place the underlay. Use a loose plank for measurement and mark the area. Then saw through the door frame while holding it against the plank. If the frame cannot be cut, use acrylic sealant. Installation site with rooms like T, U, L, I or H cannot be joined and must be split to prevent obstruction of movement of the engineered flooring. If the floor cannot move freely, it will lift up. The split point must leave an expansion gap and be covered with T profile. To know more, log on to www.mikasafloors.com Follow us on our social media handles and for any queries, reach us on our toll-free number 1-800-833-0004 or SMS MEKASA to 53030. You can also write to us at info at the rate mikasafloors.com. Enjoy MEKASA!